Hey everyone, this is a video. I just want to show how I set up the drone pads on my two keyboard layout here. Um, I used a script I found online um, that I'll share with you guys and, and just how to set up the, the mapping of this. Um, if you can see my previous videos, I looked at how to build this layout in here. And so now I'm just really focused on how to set up the script and, and make it uh, work for the drone section we have here. So the first thing you want to do is go to patcharchive.org, sign up for a free account. Um, one of the things that, that you can get from there as a free download is this drone script for main stage. You just download that and it's basically this concert um, uh, file here. Um, it's a pretty simple uh, layout um, and just used for the demonstration of this scripter plugin here. And if you just grab the, uh, the scripter, uh, just open that up, <clears throat> I hit the open script in editor, and you'll see that here is the whole script. And so you can kind of handle this in a couple different ways. Easiest thing is just come up right up to the top here, just save this as a preset. Keep it in your normal uh, script area here, just uh, finish your save in there. And then all you have to do to load this up and start to work with it in your own template is to get into your edit screen, go to the concert level because you definitely want drones to be at the concert level. I have a patch here for my pad drone. Uh, you can definitely add one and, and get it going for you here. But then you just uh, would insert a scripter instance into your plugin channel strip. And just come right up to your presets and then you can choose the worship drone preset there. What's interesting about this is that it has uh, some notes, drone types, transpose options, velocities. There's a lot of these different uh, presets are built into it that you can map and you can control with the various elements that you have on your uh, layout here. So what you'll notice that I did here is on every one of these pads, I set up a mapping that chooses the particular node value. So if I'm on my pad C here, I would just hit this plus button and because I have the scripter um, plugin as part of my pad drone channel strip, I can choose scripter, I can choose note, and then I just pick the save value that matches the different key that I want to control with the buttons. And so you'll notice that I did that for all of these as well. The range max, the range minimum, and that's really what you're changing here. Save value doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things because what happens as I go ahead and play through these is that I use this pad button to be the trigger for this. So the save value doesn't matter. Um, I just need to be able to turn this on and then as I tap each one of these, um, it would change the note to whatever I want to play here. And so on my pad on off switch here, the scripter option, drone trigger, Save value is off, button on is one, button off again. So it's basically a toggle for that scripter plugin um, to turn on and off. And so if I go to perform mode here, if I hit which key I want it to be in, and then I can hit the pad. And as long as the trigger is on, I can even switch the keys here. And then I hit it again and it turns the pad off. Super simple, super cool. They have a lot of nice little settings in here as I mentioned um, so that as you're working with your settings here you can choose the type of drone, uh, the different layering elements you have, um, the velocity, um, and then naturally because it's in a channel strip what you do with reverb, compressor EQ, add some shimmer, and the overall volume here you can work with uh, to set that up. 